Good morning, welcome back to Breakfast Television. Thanks for starting your day with us. Well, spring means getting the kids' bikes out or maybe getting a new one because they grew over the winter. We want to make sure regardless it's going to fit right. So we brought in Krista Robinson joining us from Mountain Equipment Co-op. Let's talk about uh, the two bikes because kids' bikes are sized differently than my adult bikes are, right? Yes, so uh, adult bikes are sized by the frame size. Uh, kids' bike, they generally refer to the sizes uh, based on the wheel diameter. So this one would be a 20-inch kid bike okay? because um, the wheel size is 20 inches. This one would be a 24-inch inch kid bike. Uh, in terms of age ranges, generally yeah. um, this one would be good for someone who's like 6 to 9, and this one would be more someone who's like 9 to 12, uh, or someone who's 4 feet to 4 foot 5, and that one about 4 foot 5 to 5 feet. Okay. After that you start getting into the extra small adult sizes. Okay, so we can go into small, but these ones are all designed to be adjusted so I can get my uh, a few seasons out of my kid because exactly. they grow so darn fast. Yep. But I want to make sure that I'm adjusting it properly and doing the same thing right. So yep. how, how do I fit it to a kid? So we'll pretend you're a I'm, child. I'm the kid, okay. <laughs> so if you stand over the top tube here, okay. uh, essentially at any point in time you should have two to four inches of clearance so that the child can get off the bike comfortably if they need to. Okay. Um, after so two that, to four inches between you, on something you, else. And, you and the okay. top tube. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Two to four inches of leeway there. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So you've got lots. <laughs> uh, then next we want to talk about seat height. So when you're adjusting the seat height, it's the same as an adult. When the child is at the bottom of their pedal stroke, Okay. exactly, there right. should be a slight bend in their knee. So not all the way straight? Not all the way straight. Not all the way bent? Exactly. Just a slight, slight bend, bend in the knee? Yeah, exactly. So way too much on me. But yeah, so we need to move the seat up. <laughs> Big time. Okay. And, and then after that, uh, the next thing is they should be able to reach the, the handlebars comfortably with a slight bend in their elbows. Um, and kids bikes are generally designed so that the kid's sitting fairly upright so that they can see what's out in front of them and have more time to react to it. Um, but if you did need to change the handlebar distance, you can replace this guy here, which is called the stem. Okay. Uh, and you can either get a longer one or a shorter one or one that's kind of taller um, just to adjust where the handlebars are to kind of fine tune the, the fit for your kid. Okay, can, let's talk quickly about uh, adjusting the seat there because it's uh, a whole lot easier for moms and dads than it used to be yep. uh, as far as this one goes. Oh, it's on this side. Yeah. So with this one, it's just a quick release. So you just pull this open and then you'll be adjusting it to where you think should be and closing it and a good rule is if when you're closing it to make sure that you've got it tight enough is it should leave just kind of an imprint on your hand when you close it. So it's leaving a little red mark then you're doing it right. Exactly, yep. So the tip for moms and dads to get the most out of the bike is to fit everything at the lowest points on stuff. Yes, uh, a lot of parents will come in and try and get you know something that their kids gonna be able to grow into for a long period of time. Um, so if you lower the seat all the way down which we can almost do with this one. Yep. Um, the kids should still be able to kind of touch the ground a little bit, even if it's on tippy toes. And okay. again, that just gives them the comfort to get off and on easily. Especially if they're just uh, getting the learning out there. Yep. Quickly, can I talk about why I want to invest in a kid's bike? Because uh, I can find less expensive bikes in the world. Oh yes. Why do I want to invest in a good kid's bike? Uh, it's just like buying yourself a bike. Um, with these ones, you can get quite a few years out of them and then pass them along to kids and that's why MEC didn't really cut any corners with these bikes. They're going to be just like an adult bike uh, in terms of componentry and uh and the other nice thing about going with good quality componentry is if you ever do need to fix it, uh, it's a lot easier when you can get parts for it. There you go. We're going to yeah. talk about other parts just to make it look darn cool, including these amazing little uh, air caps we've got on. Yes. We'll talk yeah. a little bit about that with MEC. More cool ideas for spring coming up on BT. 